that's when I really realized that I married the wrong person. I don't regret anything from it. If not, um, if anything, may mas natutunan ako. We were just not compatible. I've always been strong and everyone knows that like oh you're so strong parang feeling ko hindi ako allowed maggrieve did i not try harder did i did i break the family but i can't you know hold on to those things hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is michelle i am a mother of one content creator and awesome realtor if it's your first time Thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been following me for a while, maraming salamat sa lahat ng support ah, and I really enjoy this community. So, my team and I decided to have this um, sit down, um, just one-on-one -on -one interview and they gave me some questions so that way I could share my perspective being a single mother and I guess the year anniversary after moving out from our marital home. I just want to share with you guys my experience, um, what I've learned and so on and so forth. So with that being said, let's dive into it. Okay, so part one, living alone and finding my footing after leaving the marital home. So on divorce, the first question, what were your initial realizations that the marriage isn't working? When was your divorce considered? So I think I've already shared this before in my past vlogs. Just to kind of give a recap regarding that, I, it, I honestly realized during the pandemic, and I think a lot of us were faced during the pandemic that a lot of our past traumas, um, I think, Lumabas during the pandemic because at that point you couldn't go anywhere. You were with your partner, with your family 24 7 that is a lockdown. So a lot of couples were faced by their, you know, their issues. And I think we did um, try to work on it. Don't get me wrong. Um, we did counseling, virtual counseling, and all these things. And talagang hindi lang kami swak. I, that's when I really realized that I married the wrong person and I don't regret anything from it. If not, um, if anything, may mas natutunan ako. But with that being said, we were just not compatible. And during the pandemic, I was, uh, I realized while I was going through our own counseling, I realized that a lot of my past traumas came out during that time frame, and I had to heal myself and I also expected that from someone. Again, iba iba tayo ng past traumas. So if you're the only person willing to work on yourself, kahit anong situation yan, hindi talaga maayos if the other person is not willing to do the same thing. And I'm not saying that oh I'm better than the, the other person. No, it's just timing. I realized that I was holding um, a dami kong baggage from my childhood traumas na hindi ko pa pala na heal and I had to unpack little by little but I was ready I, I had to admit to myself that hey I'm carrying all these baggage and I have to unpack them I have to heal them one at a time and the thing is kung hindi kayo pareho ng wavelength the other person is healing and the other person's not push and pull yan. Like you guys are gonna keep pulling each other. No, I wanna go this way, I wanna go this way. So I think hindi na lang din talaga naging swak. And timing is everything, right? Like I don't expect for couples to like go at the same time, but I just knew in that moment that I wanted a different lifestyle. Our lifestyle, specifically our core values were not aligned. That really, it really parang luma basta talaga siya during the pandemic, during that situation. So that's when I really realized that it's either I stay or end it now and live a happier life and find that true happiness with or without a partner. So I chose the latter. Question number two on adjustment. What's the hardest part of living alone again? How did you find your footing? How did you deal with your emotions? Sadness, anger, guilt. Um, wow, that's a lot of question. <laughs> that's a lot to unpack in one question. Adjustment. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a full-time stay-at-home mom. I had my side hustles. I was still content creating, partnerships here and there, but I was financially dependent on my ex-husband. And that was a big adjustment for me to 
get back into that full workforce. I mean, up to this day, I'm still commission-based because I'm a realtor. Talagang na-realize ko na I can't really rely on anyone else but myself. I've always been independent. Like, I started working when I was 14 years old. I was an actress, diba? So, actually, being independent wasn't new to me. But I'm obviously living in a different country, having to constantly learn how to expand my English, like the English language, how to expand, like to meet people, to network, because I felt isolated for the first few years when I was living here because I moved to a different country not knowing anybody. So that was already an adjustment. I felt like the entire time that I was in America, America, puro adjustments lang yung ginagawa ko. Um, it almost felt like back to square one. Because in those five, six years that I was married, I'm in a relationship, married mother, stay-at-home mom, I felt really isolated. And I think I was meeting people through social media, but then hindi talaga siya yung nag-thrive na friendships. But now I feel like I have more freedom to do that. Sometimes may iyak ako. How did I deal with the guilt na Anika would tell me from time to time, oh, I wish my mom and my dad uh, still live in the same home and I explain it to her like me and your dad will always be there for you it might be two different homes but you know it's just a matter of explaining to her and we can talk more about that the second part nitong vlog na to about motherhood about handling Anika's emotions but for now yeah like I had to grieve like sometimes I would cry in front of her um, I've always been strong and everyone knows that like oh you're so strong and I feel like Parang feeling ko hindi ako allowed maggrieve because oh di ba parang naiyak ako ngayon because it feels like well when you're strong meron pwede ka rin mag break down you're you're also allowed to feel you can also you know and at some point like one day I just wanna be numb I don't I don't feel like being strong I just wanna cry I wanna drink I didn't fully like talagang self-destructive i didn't go down that route it was more like self-healing but with self-healing and avoiding your old patterns like going out drinking talagang trying to avoid those feelings i sat with it i would journal more i would pray i would meditate so that's how i dealt with it that's why i feel like i'm such a different person now now i will say this do i still go out and drink and party when times get lonely or parang you know like yes but it's now it's more just for fun because i want to enjoy that but yeah you're allowed to be angry <laughs> Um, at some point, I was probably angry at myself. There was also the mom guilt that did I not try harder? Did I did I break the family? But I can't, you know, hold on to those things because I will always say this, and I truly believe this. That I would rather have my child have two different homes. I would rather her live in two different homes. Pero at least makita niya na happy yung mommy niya, happy yung daddy niya, and two separate homes. Because ayoko na lumaki siya sa very toxic and negative environment. Our kids deserve more than that. It's not their fault that the marriage did not work out or it's not working at the time. I just knew that it would be safer and healthier for her emotions to be in two different homes. And I think it was also safer for me to move out of the marital home and to also end the relationship and learnings what was your major realization on the whole in the whole situation how did you grow as a person madami akong natutunan it's really you know really taking your time I, do i regret being married right away i don't i don't want to say regret but now i know that you really need to get to know the other person before because marriage is a big thing you know like everything was expedited between me and Anika's father. We got pregnant within six months and then we got married and started a family. So we did everything backwards. I guess really um, compatibility. The most important part for me now is your core values. Align ba ang core values natin? Because if it's not, then I don't even want to date you anymore. Like I 
don't even want to spend time. I wouldn't even want to nurture this relationship because that was the deal breaker for me talaga in, in my marriage, right? Like, kung hindi tayo aligned, if our lifestyle, core values, the character, and all these things, hindi swap, then I don't want it. But yeah, and I think also giving myself some grace for being too move forward after the divorce, being able to pick up myself and hold it together for my daughter, for being an inspiration to a lot of women and for finding my voice again, for finding my truth and for not being ashamed of it and for fighting for my right. That's all. <laughs> The other person was not cooperative. I just wanted out of it. It wasn't very easy in the first few months and then back and forth. So obviously, my running question, si Anika, it was hard for her. You know, it's, uh, up to this day, she will still say, oh, I wish my mom and my dad lived in the same home. And it breaks my heart to hear her. At some point, she was being aggressive in school because maybe she couldn't express her feelings. I don't want to feel that again, and I don't want to be treated this way ever again.